Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to some more RPG Maker MZ as I continue with the progress on making my own video game. <coughs> Last time we finished um, making the buildings and the farm and all that fun stuff. We need to decorate, but before we get on with that process, we need to, I need, well, we, I need to find something. And that something is this. I need to find an image that matches this right here. So whenever I make an event for it, I can then show picture, and I need to get rid of all these, honestly. Might do that today, actually. I can, I might turn that off, actually. Yeah, I wanna turn it real quick, actually, hold on. I wanna turn that off, because I am tired of being spammed with that. Uh, settings, 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 um, interface, right? <coughs> uh, no, it's friends. Now is it this? Yes. This and then this. But I'll keep that one on. Yeah. Okay. I'll turn that off for now. Because it's kind of annoying. So. Oh, Lord. Fixed it. There we go. So I need to find a picture that matches. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. That matches that. I don't have one yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those pictures real quick as well because I'm not gonna use those. I'm gonna use nothing but custom images, um, pictures. So I want to go down to here, delete, yes. Go down to here, delete, yes. I'm only doing this because I'm not going to use these images at all. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use um, custom characters from the character generator anyway for the entire game. So there's no point in having these clogging up the um, search function for what I need. And if I need them again, I can just make a new project and put them back in here. Not a big deal. No big... Okay, I hit the wrong button by accident. Hold on. I hit the wrong button. Okay, yes, now I want to do this. I do not want to delete that one. Right there. And the rest of them I can delete. Because I won't be using them. And that leaves just those two. Perfect. Okay. I only want those two. And if I, again, if I need those back, I can make a new project and bring them back. Not a big deal. Now to empty. Oh, never mind. They're gone. Cool. All right. So I need to find an image that is close to this. As close to the sign, or close enough to it. And then I need to add it to, I need to modify it to where it looks like it's old and rustic with this site right here. Um, I need to find the right tool though for that. The tool that is better than Photoshop. 
Um, right on image. Merge. Uh, what one was it? I want the old version of this site. I don't like the new one. I really don't. I don't like this. I want it over here. So I want to go to, hold on. There's a way to get that back, I think. Where's watermark at? There it is. And there it is. Okay, I don't want, yeah, I, I want this. So I want to delete this one and then add this to the bar and then put that there. And there we go. I got the old version back, perfect, okay. So what, what one was it? Was it not resize? Was it compressed? Maybe it was compressed. Yeah, it must have been compressed. That did it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um. <coughs> uh, let's see here. Well, there's how I found those two, honestly. Um. Nope. Blank wooden sign PNG. Okay. I want images only. And if any of these are copywritten, I don't mind getting removing them at all, honestly. But the RPG Maker DLC on Steam does not have any of this at all. So, I mean, that one's perfect right there. Screw it. This one is basically what I need. I found it already. No, actually this one. Or, or, okay, we're, we're in the ballpark. Okay, we're in the ballpark. Just gotta find this perfect one that I want. use that one because it has a uh, watermark on it or this one now this site used to have or I think it did a watermark remover I could be wrong but I can no longer find it so I could be wrong on that but I'm not going to use it because watermarks that one looks perfect does it match though it kind of does match yeah, I know. Oh, you okay, bud? Hairball. It's a JPEG. If I can change it to a PNG file, no big deal. With this. Hmm. Too crooked. Um. How about this? 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 Um, blank. My game is based on this in a way. Made e. Let's put it wrong. I can't type so for crap. Hmm, that didn't really give me what I wanted. That's not what I want. <laughs> that is not what I want, Bing. Oh yeah, by the way, thanks for the free points. I can get free Xbox Game Pass. Nice. When there's something I want to play, at least. Um... Yeah, I think this one's the best one. Yeah, no, it is. Okay, so now, and it's a PNG file. Okay. So what is the size of the other ones? 
Why? Why? I don't need any of this crap. What is the size of... Properties. Details. 1000 by 800. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so I need to resize this then. No big deal. 1000 by 800. So I need to resize this to that as a PNG file. Oh, that might count as a water mark in the back. Okay, so here, huh. Um, save image as. Um, desktop for now. And then we'll save it as a PNG file. We'll come over here. Image manipulation. And this is where I show off the best site ever. Better than Photoshop, in my opinion. Because honestly, fuck Photoshop. We do this, and it was maintain this in pixels, PNG file, quality 100%. And it was a thousand, and then we take this off, and it was 800. Resize. There it is. <coughs> Download it. Save it. And then we import it into pictures. Imports. Desktop. This one. Preview it. Okay, so it's it's picking it up, but does it actually pick it up? We need to find out first. So show picture. It picks it up. Oh yeah, I want this on parallel process so it runs all the time and then put our invisible character here, player, save changes, yes. I don't know why it takes forever to load, I swear. Oh yeah, I know why, because Java. And it works. I don't mind that it seeds or either, I really don't care. That, that, that does not bother me at all. I can actually make it bigger. I can probably keep it at 100%. Let's try... 85. Just for the heck of it, because why not? Yeah. And the fact that it's see-through does not bother me one bit, honestly. At all. And it's that simple. Who needs Photoshop? Not me. <laughs> Who needs to pay a hundred bucks for Photoshop? Not me. <laughs> like I said, it's it's. Now first alert, Chief Meteorologist Ron Hurst. A new station alert has arrived for your area. I know it's supposed to rain today. Do I really care? No. Okay, save it. It didn't save. See, I can still undo it. Save it again. It didn't save, cause see, I can undo it. Fix this, devs, please. For frick six, man. Force, save, done. So that's done now. Easy as that. And if again, if, if, if what I did is technically um, offensible by law, not a big deal. I will remove it, I don't care. But the official DLCs don't have this. So I got to make do with what I can. And I'm not going to sit there and draw my own out. I don't have the patience or the know-how on how to do that. So, oh, and speaking of um, know-how on drawing stuff, I did find an um, official DLC that looks actually really good. Surprisingly or not. Um, DLC. 
The problem is it's 40 bucks. <laughs> so if I do decide to get it, I'm waiting for a sale. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? And honestly, none of these other ones look good. Like, oh, here it is right here. Yeah. This is it right here. Like, look at this crap. It looks really good. And this honestly fits what I want in my game, from what I can tell. I would have to actually, like, buy it and then open it up for less than two hours. Mess with it for less than two hours. And if it doesn't work, refund it. But it looks really good. But I'm not gonna pay forty bucks for that for sure. I can't. I can't afford this. I can't afford forty bucks. <laughs> I, I. I can't. <laughs> forty bucks for me is make or break my entire my entire allowance basically. So and honestly, there's nothing wrong with what I have now. Sure, it's an asset flip. But even if I were to buy the DLC now, that's still technically an asset flip because I'm buying someone else's assets. So, and I have nothing against asset flips at all. I think it's fine. I know people are butthurt about it. And the people who are butthurt about it, grow up, who cares? If the game is great and it's enjoyable, who cares if it's an asset flip? Get over it. Go touch some grass. Hell, hold on. This... Cut some grass. Literally. Asset flip right here, I guarantee it. I guarantee this right here is an asset flip. Do you think I care? No. <laughs> A lot of games are asset flips. Do you think do you think I care? No. <laughs> but anyways, enough on that crap. We got we got our new thing that I needed. Let's decorate the map. And how I decorate maps is I go quad by quad or grid by grid. Force a save and then I need... Hmm. <laughs> Damn, my ear keeps open. <sighs> hmm. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. My ear keeps popping and it's really annoying. Alright. So I work by doing one grid at a time. I do all that I need in it. I move on to the next. I could just zoom out like this. And then do it like, you know, no, too far. I could do this and just go from here. But then I couldn't see what I'm putting down. And neither could you guys. So I'm not going to do that. Because I want to see what I'm putting down and where. So I need... I don't need this stuff. I need trees, bushes. I don't want to use this one right here because it's got stuff on it. Excuse me. I'm not going to use this because this is basically the bush just flattened out. So there's no point in using that at all, in my opinion. I'm not going to use this stuff or the dead trees or the palm trees or the cactus. There's no water here, so there's no point in that right now. <coughs> um. I will use, I'm not going to use this at all either because that is just a hassle to, to work with. This right here is kind of pointless to me. I mean, it, I mean, it's a quick way to do a forest, but it's not how I want to do a forest. It's not how I like to do forests. This is just a lazy man's forest. I'm, I'm saying it now. I could easily do that for a map and just call it good. But to me, that's just lazy work. Just, you know, lazy man's way of doing a forest. 
I have I have my own method of doing stuff. You'll see what it is. Hopefully. Um, I don't need. Oh yeah, I need. Um, where's that at? Where's that? Here it is. I need this stuff. Because this isn't in. And then you need firewood. For that. So I want to zoom out some actually. Not much though. This one also has a chimney. So I want to zoom out for this too. So it is this one. Because they need firewood as well. Hold on, I wonder, do I have, I need to check something real quick. I want to do something silly real quick, but I want to change it back. Okay, there's that one. I don't think I do have access to one of those. If not, no big deal. Now this is all just VXA assets, that's all this is. But it's, I'm fine with. I came from VXA to this one. As soon as I saw that they announced that they had added a, a much needed feature, I was like, sold. Yeah, so they don't have that in here. Unless I add the sci-fi, which is fine, I don't care, whatever. Yeah, so all, all of this right here is from VXA. I'm not even kidding. Not even joking. I want to sort it out right now, just so you guys know I'm not lying. Um, see, VXA, just different colors to it. That's really all it is. That's honestly all it is. Just VXA. They just remodeled it to look different. Big deal. Was that their VXA? Hold on. No. So they added some things and then they just modified it to look different. But it's basically the same assets. Same ones. Got my ear. Why? Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Damn. Yeah. Alright, so I don't have access to that, which is not a big deal. I wanted that anyway. To be the, I wanted it to be the way it is now. So that's, that's good to know. Let me just do that. Cool. My ear won't quit popping. Good lord, why? Damn. Mm. This happens every now and then. It's like, stop, please. I don't need everything to be louder. I really don't. Mm. And my normal method of making it stop is not working, which is very unfortunate. Alright, so I need to put more wood down. <coughs> That's not where it goes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't need it too. Actually, mm. I want to add more to it real quick. Hold on. Um, I want to add more to that real quick. I want to do this. I want to do this. No, wrong side. 
I'm gonna do this. Crap. Never mind, hold on. Oh, it layered it. God, I have not used layers in for freaking ever, man. Oh my lord. Last time I'm using layers was... Man. I, I, I don't really switch layers at all. Because it's still a new concept to me. My first time using layers was when I actually first used RPG Maker was back in high school. Summer school. I'm not kidding. We actually used it in summer school. A math teacher got it approved only if there was enough people signed up for it. And I was the last person that actually got it approved because I signed up for it. If I did not sign up for that class, it wouldn't have, it would never have happened at all. So, that is the only reason why I got into this program. And that was back in the RPG Maker XP days. So that was like early 2000s. Early like, I don't even know, I don't even know when it came out honestly. It could have been like 90s whenever it came out. And back then I had no idea what the hell I was doing. I, I still don't know what I'm doing. But it's a fun program. I highly recommend it if you want to get into making games without having to code. Because I have no idea how to code. I look at code and I just get an instant headache. So. I can't even code Ruby. Which is what VX Ace used back then. I can do like true, false, or change numbers. That's all I can do. But trying to write my own code? Uh-uh. Forget it. Forget it. Not happening. Not happening in the slightest bit. So the fact that I can actually make my own game without having to code, I'm all for that. Okay, that's the beginning. I want to zoom in on this actually. I want to zoom in. You guys can see more, hopefully. Um, now I need to do. Does this cover that up? I wonder. It does. So it's kind of pointless then. I know it's getting caught. <coughs> Actually, I wonder. Hold on. Yeah, no, it still gets caught. What if I control it? Nope. Actually, no. What if? What if I put this down first, and then I put. Eh, it doesn't work. Okay, never mind then. Actually, no, hold on. I wonder. Um, what if I then... Nope. What layer is that on? Okay, it's on the fourth layer, which is the very top. And what if I do this? No, it goes underneath. So you can't see it. So there's no point then in putting it there. <coughs> I'll put it there anyway. Who cares? Whatever. Because it might play some some kind of factor in the whole thing. Hmm. My damn ear won't quit popping. Why? I don't need everything to sound louder whenever I breathe or talk. Please stop popping. For frick's sakes. So you can still somewhat see that, but you cannot see the legs. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate, unless, what if I... What if I... Hmm, that wouldn't work either. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I want that visible, but I don't know how. What if... Okay, so hold on. What if I... Okay, so that is... That's on the top. So what if I put it... There. And it goes there. Okay. 
So then what if I put it here? Then it does that. And it removes that piece too. Yeah, it removed it then. So leave it on auto tile and then do this and it's still there. Now it removes. Whatever, I don't know. Screw it. Okay then. Um I guess I don't need it then. Interesting. What if I put it on Oh no, because then it would still do the same thing, wouldn't it? I need this tool. What if I put... What if I put this on 2, and then this on 1? Same thing. Yeah, so I guess I don't need the legs there then, because it doesn't matter what I do. Okay, that's, that's what I thought. But I'll still go ahead and just put them there anyway, so that I know they're there. And then I can put structural, no, I want structural right there. I'll know it's there. Players won't know it's there. Whatever, big deal. It'll be hidden or covered up. I don't care. It is what it is. And now I want to, uh, I need wood. Huh, I could do carpet. Eh. <laughs> Large bridge center. Okay. Now see it covers it up, but I want it to come out like right here or Actually no, I have an idea. I can do this. Now it's visible and then Oh, fudge nuggets. Fudge nuggets. Um, what if I can, what if I shift click? Nope. Takes it over. Nope. Ah, oh, fudge nuggets. Um. Yeah, fudge. Um, what layer is that on? Hmm. So what if I put it here then? Mm -mm. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's not gonna work then. Um, I'll just do this, whatever then. Okay. So now. Hmm. Actually, no. I wonder. No, not there. Okay, that works. It's a small porch, but... Now, right now, it looks like it's flat, which... It is, it's a flat surface, but this is where the legs come in. This is where this comes in. Now it doesn't look as flat to the ground. It still is, but it's not. Now I need to see something real quick. I'm, I'm actually curious now. I wonder if I can walk on that right there. <coughs> I 
Oh, I can't see myself. Ha! Huh. I can't see myself because I am doing this. No, you cannot. Ha <laughs> ha! So that works. Unless I do this, of course. No clipping is a thing as well. With editor mode only. And it's possible you can do it in the actual game. Who knows? I don't know. I wonder. Hold on. I'll enter. Does that work? Well, you can also do this too. I don't like it though. I really don't. Because it I means mobile games. Because you can't import this to mobile. Which. Eh. Mobile games don't exist to me. I'm sorry. They just, I mean. The ones that are. Um cash grab ones like full of microtransactions and all that crap they don't exist to me but games that are not full of that crap they're fine so that's why this is here because you can play it on mobile that's why this is here too it's mobile oh yeah and there's also um controller as well for those who use Xbox or whatever built in to the game. So if I if I didn't want to use mouse and keyboard I can switch to my controller and use that instead. Which is awesome. But I won't because well you know that. Oh yeah, I don't want it to show followers. I don't want it to show that. Um, I'll have that for now. Yeah. I'll have it so that I'll have it do that for now. Just because I can. But then I'll change that before I deploy. Because I'm a douche. I'm a douchey canoeies. Um, oh yeah, hold on, um, new, let's make this as big as it'll get, I want to see if this breaks whenever I do this, I'm curious, I know, I know VX Ace did, I'm curious if this one will or not though. Oh, hi, okay, that's why. Um, outside, does this work now? Hold on, I'm curious. Ah, here we go, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Eh, I don't, I don't like the black. I really don't. If, if it, if it could get rid of that, I would, I would use this. I, I would honestly use this, but I don't like that at all. Like, the, the program or JavaScript needs to read, okay, there's still map here. We can utilize the map. Let's utilize the map. I don't like how it's doing this. It needs to, it needs to basically, hold on, let me, let me show you this. It might crash though, who knows. If it does, whatever, I don't care. I'll have to do it on this one right here. Um, dungeon. Okay. Critical error, it crashed. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that. Um, no big deal. Let's make a new one then. Who cares? Um, it's like 50 by 50. I know VXH can do a 500 by 500 dungeon, but for some reason, this one cannot. Oh, yeah, I gotta change it here too, don't I? Whoops. See, do that right there. It's that simple. Just do what this one does. Do what this one does. It fills in the black bull crap or the or the space still available with stuff. Just do what this one does. It's that simple. Meh. Nah. 
It's that simple. This is crap. This is crap. And I can honestly just redo it over and over again. And it will keep doing it, no matter what I do. And it's randomized. It's a cool feature, but it's not utilizing the entire map, which is stupid. So delete this one, because I don't need it right now. I need to. Yeah, I need to. Okay. Now let's get back to decoring our map. I'm actually going to put a cut in here after I do. that and where else do I need more wood down here and for anyone wondering what the signs the hold on this sign right here means above each building oh it, 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 it's, I, I, I already know what it means, but I ain't going to tell you. That's a spoiler. I ain't going to tell spoilers, I'm sorry. I know the Act 1 town name is just a placeholder for now. It's a placeholder for now until I can, until I can actually figure out if I can put multiple maps into one map. Like I code on VX Ace. <clears throat> it's not no big deal. I mean, there's a 2000 map limit on MZ where VX Ace only has 999 map limit. So that's a significant increase in maps that you can have. I'm not worried about maps at all. But if I can combine maps into one map, then I might keep the Act 1 town or whatever it is versus naming each map individually. So who knows? We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put it, put a cut here, and then we will pick up with the next video or episode or whatever you want to call this. This fun little project I've been wanting to do for almost 20 years now where we will finally fully decorate our first map or at least decorate part of it anyways see you all later and feel free to subscribe like and hit the bell for more and of course feel free to comment and i will see all of you next time